Hey guys, it's Scooter Poop here with some uh, Invisible Woman Discard. Um, I don't have a lot of cards to really make this deck work. Uh, it, I think optimally you would want Ghost Rider as well as uh, like Hellcow, and I don't really have either of these, so it's kind of like budget. Um, obviously the point of this deck, if you've seen other channels, is Invisible Woman, and you put a bunch of discard there, and followed up lastly with Hella. Um, but when you get Hella, it's like, oh my god, I can finally use Hella, and then you play discard and you discard her all the time. You're just like, well, this deck's really stupid. But if you have Invisible Woman, which is a Series 3 card, then uh, you can get Hella um, hit under there um, so that the. Or all the discard cards uh, hit under Invisibleness <laughs> so that. Um, so that Hella is not discarded, and then you can actually play her, and then discard happens, and then Hella goes off, and it's wonderful. So that's kind of the basic idea. Um, you want to, you know, play big cards to discard. So you've got Death, and you've got Infinite, and you've got Magneto, <laughs> and you've got Hulk. Um, these are kind of just like the biggest things that I have. Also have here Captain Marvel, something that would be okay to come out here. Um, and Hella is kind of random, so it's a, it's a nice uh, alternative uh, car, especially turn five, to maybe help. Um, I do have uh, as like a last copy of I didn't know what to put in. I mean, I have Colleen Wing here. I don't think she's like that good, but I don't have the Hell Cow, so kind of just playing her anyway. And I have Wave here, and Wave is. Um, Wave is here pretty much because, I mean, there's big things, obviously, and so being able to play those big things would be nice, but I also kind of like the idea of, like, normally if I see Invisible Woman, I'm probably putting a Cosmo there, and I feel like being able to wave out a Magneto, or to wave out Hella, like, turn 5 maybe, um, and then turn 6 Magneto and pull their Cosmo and then go off is a good idea, so that's kind of the, the basic idea here. So let's, uh... Let's go with the, with the Hella Surprise, is what I ended up saving it as, because, I don't know, it just sounds right, you know? It just kind of sounds right. <clears throat> Transform into one of the other locations. We don't know what those locations are. Uh, Lady Civ guarantees discards death here, which is kind of nice. So we can actually play Lady Civ without having to worry about Invisible Woman. That's probably the best thing about playing death, actually. In this deck, is it kind of protects Hella? Ooh. Um, power doubled. I guess we'll play it in the middle. Mirror Dimension could become Throne Room. Really hope it does not become Central Park. Probably just not playing Swordmaster here. Although chances are pretty good that it doesn't hit Hella. <coughs> Poseidon. Maximus. I don't I skip a draw here. Oh I don't. Thanks, Lady Sif. Nice try, buddy. Nice try, buddy. Hopefully he gets me my invisible woman. He did not. Feels feels bad. Um So I could wave Hulk here, but I think maybe we just want a Colleen Wing, or maybe we want to um I don't know about Blade here, but Colleen Wing would discard Blade. And then I can Captain Marvel. We'll play Colleen Wing in this lane. Maximus is bigger than, than, th than uh, ooh, Mojo. That sucks. Discard Blade. Why is she, like, uneven here? I don't know. We only discarded one card here. Or two cards. We do have death. So we don't really need Invisible Woman at this point. I guess we could Invisible Woman Swordmaster. Uh, no, we can't do that. We have to play it in the open. Uh, we need enough room for the Hella. <coughs> Sarah. Not sure what his play is, but... I don't know. We'll just see how it goes. So we have death. 
We have Blade. If Hela actually brings out Blade, I wonder if she gets whatever Blade discards. If, like, Blade comes out first, you know, and the effect goes off, will I get the other thing? Probably not. I imagine it won't. <coughs> but we'll see. Swordmaster has a 50-50 shot of hitting 12. But, you know, 75% of it, of it being okay. Hitting the Captain Marvel here would be okay. So kind of hitting every, every, anything here is good. And also, the 12s hitting into a throne room is really, really powerful. Really hoping for that in throne room. Mojo could end up fucking me, but I, I think if you get a 12 drop in there, it's probably okay. Every time it takes this long, I have to, like, recheck the, uh... <laughs> the timer down bot and make sure, like, am I... Am I actually done? He plays Bishop, Carnage, not a Silver Surfer, Enchantress. That's okay at this point. That doesn't really matter. Got the Hulk. So we get Death and Hulk and a Blade. Let's see if Blade happens. Do they happen in order? It looks like they do happen in order. Captain Marvel gets discarded. Do I get the Captain Marvel? Nope. But I win all three? What? Holy shit. Nice. The Hulk there, especially hitting into the left lane, was really sick. So that was a pure RNG win, which is maybe the allure, but pretty good. Also, not doubling up and giving him Mojo. I guess it didn't really matter. No cards revealed this turn. That kind of sucks, right? No, I guess not. I mean, the only thing that would suck here would be drawing Hella, right? <coughs> Let's do it. Just don't draw Hella. Another Central Park? Okay. We got nothing. Ant-Man, Sunspot, and he gets a energy here. We discard Magneto. So he knows I'm hella at this point. Death on the left? Death on the left? Alright, so we have Hella. We only discarded one card here, but it's a Magneto, which is really good. Electro. He can't Galactus here. He snapped. Not really sure what to do. Okay. Bit scared. Spec spectrum, right? But we don't care about the left. So do we just Captain Marvel here? I'm like a little scared of a uh, a Shang Chi, but he can't come out this turn. And then last turn he can't play. I don't know. Death would kind of hurt. Is Captain Marvel better because because if I hella here. Right, this this is pretty big. Maybe it's not that big, but Hella can or Captain Marvel can maybe just like help me win the game. That's okay. <clears throat> Could try. And now we only got one card here, right, Magneto? But it's pretty good. If Magneto goes into Hella's lane, then it pulls Cosmo. If it goes into the other lane, Captain Marvel could switch. Oh, we lose. Good try. <clears throat> Not bad. Yeah, the sure was the other option to Spectrum, so I guess I wasn't thinking about that. But I don't win there regardless. Pretty sure. An extra six power. 
what do I have? Squirrel and wave, 4 plus 12, 16. Ooh, that actually does beat it. Shit, okay. Should have played death. Should have assumed he wasn't playing Shang-Chi. After knowing that he was a, uh, ooh. Titan with Infinite. Play nothing turn 4? This deck probably doesn't play anything turn 4. That's kind of interesting. Ooh. Wave. Wave's not great with Infinite. <coughs> Scorpion. Alright. Maybe he leeches. Uh, Leech actually does suck a lot. Not Leech, but like Leech Leader sucks. Wow, he can actually Leader this turn? Right? He has 5 energy and Titan makes it 1 cheaper. <clears throat> Does he Leech here instead? I mean, Leech... I don't know. We don't have Hella. We'd, we'd rather discard a lower cost first. We play Colleen before Blade. Oh. That sucks. We gotta try hard here. So we can't lead her here. Does he actually Galactus leader? This would be so cringe. He can't lead her now. Ooh, infinite death? <laughs> Two cubes? <laughs> nice. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> he like waved because he was like, I don't want him doing something big here, like brood silver surfer, but he gave me the death. Fascinating. Nowhere is interesting. We could just Colleen wing and wave there. I think it's especially good, but those are options. It's always good to think about the options. Deadpool. So he carnages here. Okay, we Lady Civ. We can Lady Civ into death. Colleen Wing. I don't want to discard the wave probably, right? We can wave turn four. And then it depends on what we draw, so... Let's not play Colleen. Hulk can play Carnage here. He plays Wolverine here. There's no way this is another Galactus deck. Okay, he can't Galactus. He can no longer Galactus. Let's just discard Death. We can wave Magneto. I don't know if we want to wave. <laughs> but we probably do. Wave is probably good turn 5, right? I think Wave is good turn 5, because chances are he'll want to Deadpool that last turn. So I guess I kind of just do nothing? This this feels terrible. We can discard Captain Marvel here, though. That's good. You want to Colleen Wing before you Wave. If you Wave, then everything costs the same, and Colleen Wing will actually discard Hela. I think I believe it discards... If, it has a, if, if there are equal choices, I think it always discards the leftmost. I think we actually can win this. He had to play Killmonger here because it's about to get 
tied together. You're a bit too late, buddy. Uh, Kali Wing first. Oh, discards Invisible Woman. What a terrible top deck. But we do have Hella with Death. Nice. He just has one lane right now, and we have Wave. Deadpool is only eight. So we win right side. The problem is... We need something to go to nowhere. Is playing into this lane better? Or is this lane pointless? If I get death here, I actually could threaten the win. So it's probably better to be here. He has two, both. He has death. Oh, that sucks. We have to get it into Clintar then. Clintar. Oh, we stole it. Oh, ho, ho. I am terrible with RNG, but I found a deck that for some reason it's working. Oh, this is not realistic. What are the chances of winning there? The chances of winning there, I think you have to get death there, right? There's just no other win there. Which means that there's just a 33% chance. Wow. This is, uh, these are some games. <laughs> these are some games. I am, I'm more of a blooper person. I'm not really a highlight person, so, um, kind of shocked by these, uh, highlights. No, Weird World. Oh, the worst. Weird World is the worst. Agent 13, give me Hella or something. <laughs> Giganto. But no Hella, so. But still a really... Ooh. I don't wave leader, right? I think I wave Giganto. And save leader for turn 6. Chances are he does not have... Um, I'll play Wave here. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to. I feel like there's some shenanigans that he could play around leader with uh, Atlantis. Now, I'm giving him some good cards, so Wave is going to be scary. It could give... He could he can't Infinite here, but no matter what he plays, it, Giganto should be bigger. He can play Death here. He could play Hulk here. Magneto. Magneto actually is kind of benefiting me a little bit, right? Pulling Wave into here wouldn't be bad. He snaps here. Question mark? Is this a bot? We get double dinosaur into leader? Double Dinosaur at the end of the game is going to be 13, right? <laughs> oh no. He's the Hella? He got everything? Oh no. Arrow is his lowest? Hella is not good with me for leader. But there's chances it could go in the middle, and that would be okay. Now, we don't want to Shang-Chi here, I don't think, because he reveals first. Right? Actually, oh man, if I had the energy, Cosmo would be fantastic. Actually, Cosmo would be fantastic if I can anticipate where it's going to be. Now, he doesn't want to put it here because that would only tie this. 
He doesn't want to put it here. I think he wants to put it here. Right? Let's um let's do this first. For double dino. Then that. I'm making double dino weaker, but it should be fine. This just I think is the most secure. It's a it's a hella. It's a hella. There's no way it's not a hella. There's no way it's not a hella. Get out of here. <laughs> Get out of here, man. <laughs> I should have I should have totally snapped back. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. What a blast this uh at least that that actually felt like a win. I've been RNGing repeatedly, so you know what? At least we can uh say that we actually got the win there. Oh, I got the card back finally. Hey! I got an awesome variant for armor. That's good. Very cool. Alright, I think that's probably where we end it. Fantastic uh <laughs> <laughs> RNG there, but we did pull out an actual win. Unfortunately, it wasn't with our deck. It was with their deck against our deck. But <laughs> wait, does that mean the deck is good or bad? Shit. I I, I only got RNG wins with this deck. <laughs> My skill matchup was against this deck. Oh shit. Um. I don't know. <laughs> Use use this information however you want.